And remember, this is not financial advice. Do your own research and allow me to introduce to you Brawler Bears. <sighs> the team behind this project is making waves because they have so many innovations and this is only just the beginning. There are even stats when it comes to picking out a bear, whether it's got high strength, high endurance, high intelligence, different factions to boost those stats as well, and a luck attribute that also determines critical strikes and also one hit knockouts in the arena, right? So do take note about these stats when you go shopping with your bears because the aesthetics are not too important because you can once more equip NFT items onto them, change their appearance and improve their rarity. When these were getting popular, you could easily pick a floor bear at 0.05 Ethereum despite the fact that Ethereum has gone way up in value since then back when it was about 1200 USD. Now we're looking at 1500 USD, you can see that the floor price for the bears has steadily risen despite the climb of Ethereum value, right? Because more people are becoming aware of this project, they have that strategic partnership with the plate. Once more, getting more people in to look out for this innovative project that allows you more than just collecting these pixelated JPEGs. But they're awfully cute, aren't they? When it comes to brawler bears, you are able to purchase them off the marketplace and put them on this particular platform, which will stake them to not only earn credits, uh, which is like your in-game token with further utility in the future, but you can also train them so that they gain experience points and stats. And on top of that, you can even send them on quests to gain even more NFT items that can be equipped onto your bear NFT which makes them dynamic NFTs. Ooh. This is the training room and there is only one bear that is training right now. You cannot train and quest at the same time, which is why I'm going to be taking out Brawler 82 because I have every intention to send as many of them for questing soon. And get this, once your bears are strong enough and fully equipped, they can even brawl in the arena. That's right, NFT PvP with other NFT holders. Now the amazing thing about these NFTs is that they can go on quests after you stake them, and you can earn more NFTs when your bears return from questing. Here you can see some of my bears are coming home. We'll select End Quest and it's all done for you on the blockchain without gas fees courtesy of an extra layer built on the Polygon blockchain. Alright, so that's one of the most amazing things about this is that when you stake, when you do anything to change the NFT including its name, uh, you will need to pay gas on the Ethereum blockchain alright, because you are rewriting the metadata. But for the game elements that's on the Polygon chain, and there are no fees whatsoever, they are all absorbed by the developers. And just like that, my NFTs have returned from questing, where we're going to have some items waiting for us. Alright, as you can see, we are sending off some of our bears for a brand new quest. One that is very, very exciting because the drop items is quite epic with a nice selection of NFT items related to another NFT collection called The Play, alright? So it's a strategic partnership and these are legendary and epic NFTs that you can equip on your dynamic NFT bear. Check it out, aren't they cute? You got the Golden Plague hoodie, you got the frog head that gives you so little chance to grab it, 0.5%, 4.5%, so fingers crossed and I would be happy as well with the plate biker jacket that would go so well with my motorcycle bear. And how exactly do you check for your new NFT items? Just go to the rewards tab and you can see the total amount of experience and credits that you have earned. However, do note that you want to collect as many items as possible before you withdraw because it will cost you gas to mint these NFT items. It is recommended to have upwards of 20 items in your withdrawal pool before you attempt to make that gas fee. Don't be like me and spend gas unnecessarily. <laughs> 20 bucks for 5 items! <laughs> Even when it comes to claiming credits, it is also absolutely free. No gas included, as it is once more on the second layer of the Polygon blockchain and paid for by the developers. So what are you waiting for? I will see you in the den as we brawl it out. LFR! -er.